<laughs> Want role plays without the ads? For just $3 a month on Patreon, you'll not only gain early access to my role plays, you'll also be able to vote on which role play I make for the week. Or for $5 a month, you'll get a new and exclusive girlfriend role play each week. Head over to Patreon to check it out today. Or if you're interested in staying closer to home, check out Vixie Voices YouTube memberships, where for just $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as a badge next to your name whenever you comment, and adorable emojis to post as well. Check out the links below for more information. Also check out the Vixie Voice merch store to pick up some snuggly merch for your winter today. Link is in the description. The following roleplay is rated E for everyone. Head down. There we go. All right, ready to go. I know, I know, we have to head into the next town and get the delivery for the day. You know that we can stop for treats if we're able to make it back in time. Oh, good morning, your highness. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. I'm off for the daily deliveries. Is there anything I can help you with? Whoa there. Sorry about that, your highness. Looks like Breton here can smell something tasty in your pocket. Oh, well look at that. Look what our highness has brought for you. You're more than welcome to feed him. It's not going to be a big enough meal to hinder his flight. There you go. Such a good boy. Yeah, he's the one the guards found in the mountain. Poor thing's wing was damaged almost beyond repair. Luckily, they were able to get me and the other trainers there in time to help patch it up and get some food and water. Thanks to your generosity, this creature has been able to have a wonderful life here. We tried to release him back into his thunder, but... The boy kept flying back here. So the other trainers left him to me to take care of. Now he helps us deliver the mail to the neighboring towns. Breton might be a runt, but he's quick and definitely has an attitude to match. Yeah, I'm talking about you, scraping me against the branches of the trees after the neighboring towns didn't have any snacks for you. Anyways, I'm sorry to distract you from what you were saying. Is there anything I... I I'm sorry. I mean, we. Is there anything we can help you with? Oh, a letter to the neighboring town. Of course. I'll make sure it gets there safe and... Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> well, I'm off. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you when I return. Harness off of you. I'll open the back door so you can stretch your wings for a bit. And I'll go in and deliver the mail for today. Okay? Be safe and don't wander too far off. He's already gone. Yeah, yeah, he tells me he knows, but he's always late this one. Oof! Hey, a halt, intru- Oh. Your Highness. Oh my god, you startled me. What are you doing here so late? Your family's still in negotiations with one of the kingdoms? So you snuck out again, did you? I know you've been here a couple of times. The dragons tell me things. What's that look for? You think these gossips aren't telling me all that they hear? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, your highness, I'm kidding. I just noticed that the dragons aren't really eating all of their meals. So I assume someone was sneaking in here to sneak them snacks, as it were. When Breton walked right up to you, you were on your way to do just that, weren't you? I was just a little late on my way out this morning, so you ran into me and made up this story about this letter. 
Yeah, I know it was a fake letter because it didn't have any information on it. Your family has a very distinct way of communicating with the neighboring kingdoms, and it makes my routes easy to track. I didn't open it. I figured it was important. Here you go. You're more than welcome to visit the caves whenever you'd like, Your Highness. Just do me a favor and leave the feedings to me. They need a balanced, nutrient-rich diet to keep their muscles nice and strong. This is really just a safe place for them to eat and rest before taking off again. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate all the extra love you've been showing the dragons. They really seem to love you. But let's cut back a little. <laughs> That's Aiden, she's my other delivery dragon. As you can see, she's a total sweetheart. Are you at all interested in flying? Well, you have been sneaking in here quite a lot. It is quite an experience to fly with dragons. You want me to take you up with Brenton? Absolutely not, your highness. Your family would have my head and all of my dragon's heads on a platter if they knew. It's way too dangerous. You've never flown before, and Brenton is kind of a wild card. You've already tried it before? So that's what you've been sneaking in here for. You've been trying to train yourself to ride the dragons. Aiden is so happy to see you because you've been practicing. <sighs> okay. Show me what you've learned so far. If I'm going to take you up, I need to know where you're at. Okay, not bad. Let me just adjust your legs so it fits a little bit more comfortably in the stirrups of the harness. Trust me, it's the most grip you're going to get when you're in the air. Lean back a little. This strap will keep you tethered to the saddle. Just be sure to hold on to me. If anybody finds out about this, they'll feed me to the dragons. Hang on tight. Come on, Eden. Let's go. 